Hey everyone, and welcome to TechAbility Time Traveler's Week 5 Deep Dive. What we're going to go ahead and do is go down to the bottom right hand corner and we want to click on Stage and Backdrops. And then once you have that selected, go up to the top left hand corner and click on the Backdrops tab and click on the Start Screen Costume. So it should look like this. It should say Color Trick Game. What we want to go ahead and do is with our select tool, that's the one that looks like our mouse cursor, we're going to click on the background, which is this um, teal color, and then click on fill at the top left. When you do, at the top of fill, you will see these boxes. So if you click on this one, it'll create a fade effect to left or right, and then this one will do up and down, and this one's like a radiating effect from the center. So I'm going to do the one that's up and down, but you guys can choose whichever one you guys would like. And how this works is you click on this side here, and I'm going to choose two colors. So I, I really like doing red and um, orange. Kind of looks like a hot rod color. So I'll just change it to that and see how it creates like a fade effect between the two colors. So go ahead and pause the video here and change the color of the background. Once you guys have changed the background, what you want to do is go ahead and click on your text so you have it uh, highlighted. And then click on T for text on our toolbar. And then above, you'll see where it says Marker. And then if you click on that drop down, you'll get different fonts. And you guys can go ahead and change the font. I really like Marker already. Actually, I think I might go with the uh, curly font this time. Once you guys have done that, go ahead and click on your brush tool and change the fill color to something you guys would like to draw. And just go ahead and draw something you guys would like to have on your um, background. For me, I'm not a very good drawler. So what I want to do is I can go down here and click on the game over sprite and I have a bat that I chose previously. So I'll just select him and copy him. And then I'll go back to my backdrops and I'll paste him in. If you guys want to get a character yourself, um, you can always go to another costume, like another sprite, I should say, like our game over sprite, for instance. And then if you go down to the bottom left, you guys will see where it says choose a costume. And you guys can choose something here. Let's say this character. Hold on, let it load. There it goes. And then I would just highlight her, for instance, and copy her and then take her back to the stage and backdrops and paste her in. So that's how you would do that if that's what you guys would like to do. But it's not necessary. So I just want to put my little back character on the front page because I think it's cute. Go ahead and take some time to decorate your stage and backdrops start screen. When you guys are ready to move on, what you guys want to do is go down to the bottom right hand corner and click on the start button sprite. And we're also going to be underneath the costumes tab at the top left. So you should see where it says start game and there's like a little button shape. What we want to do is click on the font start game and then click on T for text. And then click where it says marker to change the drop down to a different font. And I'm going to go with curly and I'm going to stretch it out a little too to make it a little bit bigger like so. Once I've met and done messing around with my font, I'm just going to go ahead and click on my button background with using my select tool. That's the one that looks like the mouse cursor. And then I want to use the reshape tool. And that's the one that looks like our mouse cursor with a little dot at the end of it. And to use it, how this works is around our shape, there's a little blue line and there's some blue dots. If I grab these blue dots, I can move it and morph this shape. And if I want to, I can click on somewhere on this blue line to add another blue dot. So I can add more detail. Oop. There we go. So I'm just going to change the shape a little because I really like the shape how it is. And when I'm all done, what I want to do is click back on my select tool, click on the button, and then click fill to change the color. So I'm going to go with red. And, or actually, let's go with blue and purple. And then I'm going to change the um, radiating effect from left to right instead of 
um, center radiating. There we go. So go ahead and pause the video here and decorate your start button before moving on to the next step. Once you guys are done decorating your start button, what you want to do is go back to the stage and backdrops down at the bottom right hand corner. And under that, click on the costume 2, which says game screen, and select it by clicking on the background with our select tool. That's the one that looks like our mouse cursor. And when you have it selected, we want to go ahead and delete it. And then go down to the bottom left hand corner where it says choose a backdrop and click on that. And then go ahead and choose a backdrop you guys would like. I'm going to do the Savannah. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to click copy and I'm going to click on my game screen and I'm going to paste it in. And then I'm going to go back to the costume that I had selected and I'm going to delete that box. So now I only have my start screen and my game screen underneath my costumes. Make sure you guys go ahead and pause the video here before going on to the next step. Once you're ready, we're going to go ahead and click on the game over sprite down at the bottom right hand corner. And what we want to do is go ahead and update our game over sprite by giving it a background. So we want to go ahead and click on the rectangle tool on the left hand side and then click on fill. And I'm going to select the left to right fade at the top. And I'm going to choose red and orange. And I'm going to make a big square. And once I have done this, it's going to cover my character and I don't want that. So what I want to do is I'm going to click this button that says back and it's going to send it all the way to the back. And now I can see my character. Then once I have done that, I'm going to click on the T for text and I'm going to click on fill and I'm going to change the brightness all the way to zero, making it black. And I'm going to go ahead and type game over exclamation point. And I use the curly font. If you wanted to use something else, you can click this drop down and select something else, but I like curly. And then I'm going to stretch out my text and I'm going to put it right above my bat. Make sure you guys spend some time decorating your game over sprite. This is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.